What is up, guys? And today I'm doing a video on my re mostly recently acquired East German kit. Well, um, yeah. Anyway, let's get to it. So, well, if if you watched the other video, you'd know that I got this at the gun show from the Edmonton gun show in, the, in October or last month. Yeah, just a, a M fifty five five slash um. 67 and uh yeah right here yeah this is the later version of it because it has the it says made in east germany there and uh see it has it has a different type of liner than the early ones like the early ones are, are a lot more rare and uh the early ones wouldn't have uh the plastic thing at the top or this this padded stuff here and, uh, I'm pretty sure the chin strap and stuff might be a little different too, but I'm not too sure. Yeah. And, uh, it's pretty nice. I've been looking for one for a long time. But, yeah. And, yeah, that's just a little sticky stuff from the tag that was on it. So, set that off to the side. And here I got... Uh, I, I don't know the model, but just an, an East German field cap, I'm just going to say. And I got this for five bucks at a Supply Sergeant surplus store in Edmonton. This was also from Supply Sergeant. This is I think this is like an East German under tunic because, you know, the, the normal tunic that you'd see would have the, the, the collar here and like the the shoulder things and all that. See, it's it's a little bit different, but uh, yeah. And then here is the uh, the tunic. Uh, I just opened it up. See, and yeah, it's it's got this weird pocket. Like I didn't notice this when I first bought it. I mean, I was wondering what this was. I thought maybe it was like a pad to protect your like shoulder or you know arm from from uh, you know uh, recoil from the gun or whatever. But it's actually. An extra pocket, as you can see in there. You here, just one sec. Yeah, you take that off, and then you know it's it's a I don't know a weird pocket. Maybe a gun could fit in there or something. I don't think the purpose of it because I mean that's what it's shaped like. But yeah, anyway. And then here's there's nothing on here. I don't know what that's for. Uh, I don't know. And yeah. It's, and then it's got these markings on it. So 1958. It's uh, not a super late version. I was thinking it would be like 1990 or something. Because this this one. Oh yeah. I didn't show you this one yet. But well, anyway. There's those markings. But I think I, th I think you can tell a date from, from the numbers. But I think th that means 1990. A, fr a friend told me that. Or maybe it's the, the, the letter. But I don't know. Maybe this is, I think this is, th that means type 2, but I'm not completely sure, so don't, don't take my word on that. But, yeah, put that off to the side, and then, see, here's this, it's got, I think that's the size, or model 56, I don't know. Yeah, I really haven't done any research, I'm just showing you it, because I just got it. And then there's these weird loops here, and then. I think that's to tighten it, but yeah, because you can pull that thing out, and then, uh, yeah, the, the elbows are padded, like, they're, they're a lot thicker than the rest of it, and, uh, here, one sec, it's got this weird stretchy flexible neck part here, yeah, but, yeah, that's, pretty much all I got right now, um, and, uh, yeah, make sure to like the video, subscribe, comment on what you think of this, and more information if you want, and, uh, sh share the video if you want to, that'd be pretty awesome, tell your friends about it, and if you want, you don't have to, but I'd really like to get this tr channel grow to 100 subscribers, and, you know, the only way to do that is with your guys' help, so, yeah, thanks for watching. And, uh, have a great day. Peace out.
Also, I forgot to show you guys how, how the arms have um, this type of wool thing, or like, you, you know, at the, at the cuffs instead of like a, a button to tighten it. It's like that, so yeah, it's it's more of a sweater than like a actual tunic, or I don't I don't know. It could could have been one or like. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure, but whatever. Um, yeah, see ya.